Well, plan A was to dismantle that span piece by piece, but right after the new bridge was completed, engineers found a big piece of the old bridge was unstable. So that led us to plan B, as in boom, which we heard and felt this morning. They waited in the cold with cameras to record and binoculars to witness. To see history. Dynamite making the bridge blow up. <laughs> and is it going to splash? Yes. The Tappan Zee takedown, scheduled for 1032, was delayed for nearly 20 long, cold minutes. It would have been so much better had they done this in the summertime. <laughs> They planned to do it on Saturday the 12th, but windy weather prevented the necessary meticulous prep work. Dozens of technicians and engineers placing the explosives exactly where they needed to be. Finally, the big moment arrived. First, the flash of the igniters, then the boom. The east anchor span settled into the Hudson River in a cloud of dust and smoke. At this nearby home being remodeled, the concussive force blew out a window. There we go. Everyone who witnessed it was impressed. I could feel the blast. It was really cool. And see the sparks. Well, almost everybody was impressed. What'd you think, Owen? It was uh, not as loud as I, you thought it was going to be. Tell that to the people who reported hearing it in Connecticut and the Bronx. The 6,500-ton span fell onto an underwater steel net that will be used to lift it up for dismantling, according to John Lipscomb of Riverkeeper. And then they'll be able to saw off pieces of steel as it emerges from the river. Once the dust settled, engineers got a river-level view of the span that once towered 60 feet over the Hudson. So that leaves the West Anchor Span still standing. It will be dismantled piece by piece using cranes over the next couple of weeks. Christine and Maurice, lots of these dotted around the neighborhood in the recycling bins, champagne bottles, many people toasting the bridge and the memories after this morning's big show. Live in Terrytown, New York, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News.